Do you want to know what the biggest mistakes a top real estate agent has made and how you can learn from it? Well, my biggest mistake of my career was not treating my past clients that I had closed on, made money on, like a farm, until maybe the last five or six years. So I tell you, you need to build a past client farming system. Make it like you're farming to a brand new community. We all talk about farming videos. This is what you need to do. So start marketing to past clients immediately after closing. Put them into a farming campaign. I know they sold out. Maybe they're not going to move for 5, 10, 15 years. But you need to be ready to market to them because they can refer you business to friends, family, coworkers, or they might move faster than you think. So create a client database, including birthdays, home anniversaries, and their marital anniversaries. And have the client engagement. Make sure you keep in touch with them. Send videos, send birthday cards, home anniversary cards, wedding anniversary cards, yearly gifts. You can use programs online that help you do this you know, automatically where you don't have to write the card. It even looks like you did write the card, but then you follow with a text message, a phone call, an email, use BombBomb to be able to use an email marketing system where you can put video into that communication. You will be able to see such a difference because those people already like and trust you. It's not going to go in a spam filter. When they get something in the mail, they're going to say, wow, my realtor sent me something. Your relationship doesn't end at closing. That's what my mistake was. It truly begins. And you you should be looking at this concierge like approach to real estate where you care and you give back to that family because it could be their kids that eventually work with you. So spend money on clients who already invested in you. Definitely put your money into clients that are going to, you know, refer you business, make them your a class clients and then work it down, but make sure you include everybody into that past client relationship, build your brand with past clients and sphere of influence rather than just strangers. Look, you can spend tons of money marketing, marketing and, you know, having people fill out forms, new Facebook ads and all of these different things that work, but those are strangers you're advertising and you should do that, but you definitely should be advertising to people that already like and trust you. Statistically, it shows that 80 plus percent of past clients said they would work again with the realtor they work with. So use that information and stay in touch. You know, these transactions lead to marketing that will be able to drive traffic to whatever you're looking to do. You know, this is important when you're when you're seeing your numbers at the end of the year, because if you can generate more business from past clients that are not strangers, you're going to be able to spend more money on some of the other avenues and build that rapport with the clients. Keep in touch with them, invite them to your all your events, you know, send out mailers to them that you're sending to strangers, include them into those equations, because by farming to the past clients, that will be your best farm. I promise you. Don't wait 10, 15 years like me. Do it now. I didn't realize this until I sold a home in one community five times, but I didn't represent the buyer on one single transaction. Every one of those buyers bought the home. I was the listing agent and they called me, not the agent that they worked with to help buy the house with them because most likely that agent didn't keep in touch with them. And I was already farming that community. And these clients that were getting my marketing in the mail, these phantom buyers became my sphere of influence past clients. And I didn't even know about it. They thought that I was farming to them because I was involved in the transaction. And I quickly realized that that wasn't the reason I was just marketing that community. Like they were strangers to me, but they weren't. So it works. You will make so much money if you actually start farming to your past clients. And I gave you an extra one, the phantom clients on the other side of the deal, because they know who you are. They see your face. They knew you were involved in the transaction and it's an easier connection when you follow up with them because most likely the agent they work with didn't and you can become their next agent instead of the agent that they work with on their past deal.